well, it's not so bad. I'm a bit of a snob, really. The days of me lying in old chairs and I mean, I remember being on these ferries lying on the floor. <laughs> Not anymore. No, I'm lucky enough to be quite fortunate with my businesses and stuff now that I can afford to have a cabin, <laughs> even if I have to have a quadruple to myself. No, it's not so bad. I've just been having a bit of breakfast. I don't know why, why these boats are the way they are. I mean, you can go to any buffet, even a Chinese buffet, and they can they can serve warm food. These these boats have always done the same thing. They serve you cold food and then point you to a microwave. I don't know why they do that. Well, just serve the food hot, bay marie's, heat lamps. You know, it just never made sense to me. And they're still doing it on here. I thought Fred Olsen might be a little bit better than the Armas one, but exactly the same. Queue up, get cold food served to you, and then go and queue for a microwave. Oh, well. Anyway, at least the coffee's hot. So, that's my poor hole in the cabin. And the cabin is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The good thing is with a cabin, you know, you get a bit of private space, you get a private bathroom. Because I've been on these boats before as well. And they've been full of people from different countries and they ain't the cleanest. So when you're sharing toilets and public toilets like that, state of me, huh? Oh, I've got to get freshened up and uh, just a relaxing day on the cat and the boat. So that's that. So, I'm taking a seat. All the staff walk around with black masks on and. None of them really talk to anybody. They treat you like you're in some sort of a detention centre. That's honestly how it feels. And because the staff are kind of all quiet and sort of freeze when you speak to them, it kind of puts everyone on the edge of the dinner hall. It's like we're rationed. And I can't believe that I've paid over, well, just short of 500 euros to get on here, which is said to be including meals. Well, at meal time, we treated like that, locks and chains on the cabinets where the food is. As if there might be a riot at any time and we're all gonna start burning the bog roll and throwing it in the food all. Very, very strange. I'm gonna lock myself in the room and uh, see if we can watch a cartoon. Hello. Bye, uh, please. Yeah. Soup. this one, please? Oh, there? You have complete amenities. This? Yeah. Well, I can't have anything else. First plate, the So what's this then? Second plate. Okay. We will change the salad for second plate. There you go. Here you are. But you know, in the cabin, now, I, I feel like I can, I can raise my voice a bit. But in the cabin, it's fantastic. The cabin is really clean. It's huge inside. 
I've had cabins on boats before and they're literally just enough to get a body between the beds. Um, it's got a great uh, toilet, it's very, very clean. The whole boat is spotless, clinical. Um, which gives you that eerie feeling <laughs> when you've got these kind of prison wardens walking around with their black masks on. <clears throat> um, and this food thing is just crazy. I mean, I went on a boat, God, about 10 years ago, I went on an Armas boat, Trans Mediterranean Ferry from um, Cadiz. Now, that was pretty much the same experience, but that was a floating truck station you know and I expected it to be truck a bit truck station like and I didn't pay 500 euros for the crossing but this time I don't want to say anything because I've got me panic downstairs so I'm not I'm not being a nuisance or kicking off with anybody because I want to make sure my bike comes off in one piece but Fred Olsen if you are watching this or any of your staff are watching this this is an absolute disgrace, the way that you treat people in that dinner hall. It is like being in some sort of a detention centre. Get rid of the locks and chains off the cabinets. Get rid of the like security guards and the, 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 the ribbons, you know, only 10 people can come at a time and you can't have that. And I mean, he just made me put the salad back because I had a plate of paella and a, a slop of extra chips so we took the salad off mate i mean it's crazy the salad was probably like 50 cents they're gonna throw it in the bin afterwards it's it's very strange and it's not something that you expect in the 21st century when we're taking a simple crossing from Huelva over to the canary islands it's certainly not going to attract many people is it so olsen Sort it out, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, we've got about 80 kilometers now from uh, Tenerife into the south, but my son's been good enough to come up. Well, he ain't caught carnivals on in the door, so he's been at carnival all night, but he's on gone for me and he's going to relieve me of all my luggage that I've been carrying from Barcelona on my back. And I'm going to get to ride the bike for the first time, luggage free, as it should be ridden. As a bobber, I'm going to be riding it in virtually a straight line all the way up. So I've got no footage available to capture of the last bit, getting off the boat and stuff, because um, I'm all out of uh, micro SIM cards. So I've got nothing there. We lost the camera at the beginning. so. Um, we lost all that footage off the rear camera anyway. Um, but I've still got the 360 Pro and um, we've got plenty of stuff there. So we'll be um, using all of that where we can. So this is it, guys. Can you ride a vintage 1950s Harley Davidson Panic from Barcelona to Tenerife? The answer is yes, you can. But it ain't easy. <laughs> 